Hello there. Welcome to the Indian Insight channel. In this video, we are trying to answer the question, will Nifty crash more? As you might be aware, Nifty has already fallen by more than 9% and it has happened pretty rapidly. Within a month, we have seen Nifty correct by 9%, but the wider market has corrected more sharply. Here I have some data from the for the broader markets. And when you evaluate this data in the context of Nifty, which has just fallen by 9%, you will see that the damage to the wider market has been sharper. For example, if we look at the top 500 stocks by market cap, you can also uh, consider them to be the Nifty 500 stocks, let's say. So from these 500 stocks, only 83 stocks have fallen by less than 10%. So almost 80% or more then 84 percent 83 or 84 percent stocks have fallen by more than 10 percent which is the fall in nifty almost 40 percent stocks have fallen by more than 20 percent so so this uh, means that the broader market has suffered much more than what the index shows the data for the top thousand stocks by market cap is also shown here here we see that only 12% stocks have fallen by less than 10%. In fact, more than 50% stocks in the top 1000 stocks by market cap have fallen by greater than 20%. Now, the top 1000 stocks represent almost 97% of the market cap. That is 97% money is invested in the top 1000 stocks. If you look at the top 2000 stocks, then you should understand that 99% money is invested in top 2000 stocks by market cap. And here you will see that less than 10% stocks have fallen by less than 10%. So as the market cap goes down, we see that the more number of stocks have suffered in that segment. Which is why when new investors come to the market, I always recommend them to stick to the top 500 stocks for their analysis and investing as these will fall relatively less compared to micro cap stocks which will fall harder and faster. So when you are new in the market, the safest thing to do is just look at the top 500 stocks by market cap and try to choose stocks from that segment as these stocks are less likely to fall sharply in case of a market correction. Now let's look at Nifty what has happened. Nifty has come down to around 24,000 level. It has also formed a kind of a head and shoulder pattern here. It's a brief head and shoulder pattern which has been formed. Now the target for this pattern comes to about 23,400. This is also where you will find that the 200 day moving average support will also come. So 23,400 is a target for this head and shoulder pattern. That said, we are already near a very strong support zone around 24,000. So between 23,900 and 24,000, there is a strong support zone. So we may see a bounce from here, but it is very likely that this bounce will again turn bearish and we may come and we may come back to test this support zone again and in case we this support zone does not hold then we are likely staring at a bigger market correction now if this scenario unfolds let me tell you what you can expect from a further fall in case of a further fall let's go to the weekly chart now in case of a further fall you're likely to revisit this candle here this candle was formed on the week of election results so when the lok sabha election results came the market traded widely it made a low of around 21281 and a high of around 23000 and this area will come into play if we break this support zone here and in this case i expect the market to go sub 22000 levels assuming we are not able to hold around the 24000 level so mentally you should be prepared for a bigger fall and any new investments you make 
you should be very careful you should be very prudent with your allocation you should be very sure of your analysis and you should only make new investments for the longer term because this is not a market that is going to give you good swing opportunities for the short term on the long side so yes there may be a bounce from 24000 but this bounce is likely to be temporary and we may actually see sub 23000 level maybe sub 22000 levels eventually and there we may form a bottom and maybe begin a longer term rally so any investments you make this is not the time for new investments you are likely to get better prices in the coming months and you should be patient for markets to show their hands before making any investment with this we come to the end of this video i hope you liked it and if you did please remember to like the video share this with your friends and also subscribe to the channel thank you for logging in